hello Instagram and hello my amazing goddess wife community here on Facebook. I am letting producer get us started and let's see if we are on. We are. Hello everyone. Welcome. My name, if you don't know me, is Michelle Kanan and I am the fabulous founder of this amazing community, Goddess Wife Vibes for Unstoppable Females. And I'm also the founder of the legendary Goddess Wife School, which is now open for registration. And that's why you're going to be seeing a lot of me inside of the group and here on Instagram Live and on YouTube a lot this week because I'm here to tell you so many truths and realities about how to have the exact relationship that you want, hey star, in a way that feels really, really good for you and that feels really, really good for your man too. And what I call that is being in co-creation with your man and that means doing things in a way that you are aligned, united, you feel limitless, you feel like anything is possible. Hey Sarah, good to see you. Um, and you feel like not only are you getting what you want in a way that feels good for you, but that your man is getting what he wants in a way that feels good for him too. And this is so super important because so often we are stuck in trying to figure out how to get what we want. And what we don't realize is that we're actually fighting against our man, fighting against our partner, the one that wants us to be happy, turned on, satisfied, fulfilled, wants to see us shine, wants to feel us doing amazing, and yet we're in some kind of power struggle with our man so often of the time fighting against him. And that is the secret, that is the reason why most women aren't getting what they want from their man, aren't getting what they want from their relationship, and also aren't getting what they want in so many other aspects of their life, or why it feels like hard, like you have to fight and push and hustle and lean in to always get what you want. And I'm calling bullshit on that. That's why I do my work. That's why I have this group. That's why I have my goddess uh, wife school so that you can unlearn all of those limiting half truths that you were taught for your whole life about what relationship is, about what relationship can be and start to see how your man is showing up and desires to show up and wants to be your hero. Your man wants to be your hero. Newsflash, I know that's not what you hear um, in like women's empowerment blogs or in social media. It's always like lean in and you can do it. And, um, and you know, there's all these like misconceptions that like men are threatened by women's success and that men don't like it when women are making more money than them and that there's this like power struggle and women have to fight to get what we want. It's just not true. It's just not true. So if you're joining me live, say hey, stars already leaving comments, leave a comment so that I know that you're here. You can do hashtag live. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget to do hashtag replay. Let me know that you're here. Um, I'm a generator in my human design and I love responding to people, answering questions, getting into conversations. So bring it, whatever this comes up for you. Hey, hippie homegirl, what's going on? Are you inside my Goddess Wife Vibes community on Facebook? Those of you on Instagram that are watching, make sure that you're on Facebook and joining me inside of my Goddess Wife Vibes community. Okay, so today we're talking about why he'll never give you what you want, right? And this is like a big statement, right? I feel like I'm about to like break it down for a lot of you here. I'm just like moving over a little bit. I feel like I'm really close to the camera on Facebook. Hey everybody that's popping on, what's up? So so often, right? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a go-getter. I'm a type A alpha kind of gal. I love, love getting what I want. Like there's a story about me from sleepaway camp when I was like 12 or something of me getting on a, on a bed in a bunk and taking a, a belt and like whipping it in the air and being like, I know what I want and I get it like a dominatrix or something like that. <laughs> and I love the feeling of getting what I want. And if you love that feeling too, leave a comment, leave an emoji, let me know. Because actually so many entrepreneurial women, so many leaders, so many founders, so many visionaries and game changers, the reason that we have our businesses the way that we do, the reason that we're not employed by other people, that we're striking it out on our own, that we're doing things that, um, you know, according to our own rules is because we love the feeling of getting what we want and setting things up in a way that feels good for us because it's giving us what we want. But then it comes to our relationships, right? And I just, I know so many women that are crushing it, right? You're 
office. So things are just still, still getting set up. So I know so many women that are crushing it in the game. Like you're killing it in your businesses, you're growing, you're making more money, you're signing up more clients, you're expanding, you're hitting those milestones, um, you're making more money, those things are starting to work out for you. But then for some reason, it's not really feeling the same way in your relationship. And you don't know how to get your man on board with your success or on board with the way that you want things to be or you just don't feel like you're in flow or you just don't feel like he's giving you what you want and what you need and if he does it's because you have to nag him or you have to write a honeydew list or you have to remind him or sometimes you're just like you know what I can just do it better than you let me just do it like I'll just take care of it and it kind of feels like you're always the motor you're always the engine it's always up to you to get stuff done right it's always up to you to make it happen it's always up to you to to make it perfect to make it at like that level that you want and you desire and there's nothing wrong with doing it that way right like when you do it that way of course like you make sure that you get stuff done you make sure things are exactly the way that you like it things are up to your standards but what happens over time for so many of us is that not only do we feel exhausted, but we start to get resentful also. We start to get annoyed and bothered that it feels like it's always us, right? It's always me that has to do it. It's always me that needs to take the initiative. It's always me that has to make sure things are, oh, you have white noise? I'm sorry, I think it's my computer battery. Hit the home girl. Um, Hopefully I'll speak up and you can hear me a little bit better. Let me know if that's not working for you or not. It's always up to us to make sure shit gets done. And that's fucking exhausting. It's so exhausting and it also breeds resentment. And then it feeds into all these stories that we've learned about men. That men are lazy. That men don't really want to help us out. That like, you know, your man isn't capable. That nobody can do it as good as you. And you start to live this reality, okay? You start to live this reality and live this kind of experience where you're proving yourself right and your man is proving your hypotheses right, except you don't want those hypotheses to be proven right. You want the other thing where your man is, you know, one step ahead of you or he's surprising you and delighting you or he's like coming up with, you know, taking the initiative on things like one of one of the last rounds of goddess wife school one of my clients in there she said that one day her man just like woke up at the beginning of the month and he's like this is grind november i'm gonna take extra shifts and i'm gonna make extra money and i'm gonna get us to this other place financially and she never even asked him that like she desired that she desired him to step up in that kind of way and and bring in more money and take on responsibility and take that initiative but he did it on his own, right? It's a totally different vibe when you have to like force someone or remind somebody or nudge somebody to do something versus when they like are inspired to do it themselves or when they like feel like, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I wanna do that on my own and you watch them do it and you don't even, you can just like lean back, right? This is my favorite thing to teach women about, leaning back and just enjoy that experience of you getting what you want and what you need without you having to like lift a finger or do anything extra. See, the reason that most women, especially powerful women, type A entrepreneur women, aren't getting what we want and need from our man is because we are on his jock too hard. <laughs> I wonder how Facebook is going to do my captions for this live video. <laughs> In fact, so many of us are literally cock blocking our man we're getting in his way energetically from being the man that we deeply desire and want him to be we're getting in the way through our energy we're putting too much pressure um, we're being too cognizant of like time and how fast or how slow things are going um, you're having lives okay no problem Mindy I'll catch you later no problem um, we're going you know Things are too fast or too slow for some reason. Yo, is it Mercury retrograde? I feel like everyone's having tech issues right now with everything. No problem though, no problem though. My message gets through to the ones that need to hear it. I want to tell you that there's a different way that you don't have to experience that. You don't have to get in your man's way, especially because newsflash, we're not trying to get in his way, right? It's not like that's what you want to do. You think that you're helping, right? You think that you're you're um, making sure that it happens. You think also that it needs to happen. You need to be there in order for it to happen, you know, in order for it, for your man to step up in that kind of way. But until you let go of that pressure, 
until you stop forcing yourself to take on that responsibility, which truthfully doesn't feel good, right? You don't want to have to remind them all the time. You don't want to have to be the energy holder, the gatekeeper, the engine that's running the show all the time. You don't want that. That doesn't feel good for you. Guess what? It doesn't feel good for him either. And it's that kind of pressure, that kind of energy, that kind of lack of trust and lack of respect in his potential, in his capability. That's what's keeping him from showing up and not only doing what you think you want him to do. This is the mind blowing part, right? Most women are so limited. We say things like, oh, if only he'd do the dishes, if only he'd, you know, pick up the socks, if only he'd put the kids to bed, like that is the baseline. That is the bare minimum of what your man is capable of and what he's able to give you. He's able to take you to limitless heights. What you are able to do with your partner when you are in partnership, when you have the privilege of being in relationship with another human being, another creator on this planet, you can do infinity. You can make infinite amounts of money, start incredible businesses, live the lifestyle that you want, have everything, become magnetic to call in everything. But you're keeping your partner busy and yourself busy with the day-to-day -day drama, right? With the management, the over-management, the over-regulation that comes from that fear place, that comes from that lack of trust in your man and in God, if you believe in God and universe, whatever higher, greater power. But you have the opportunity. Hey, Tammy, you have the opportunity with your man while you're here on earth the opportunity to channel that divine co-creational energy and make all of your dreams come true in a way that feels good for both of you, but you ain't because you're worried about his dirty socks on the floor and you're pissed off at him about it and you're keeping the both of you caught up in the technicalities of life instead of evolving into divine partnership together. And so your man will never give you what you want because number one, you're setting him up to fail. <laughs> number two, he's avoiding the situation where he doesn't want to feel like a failure. So he's just like, peace out. I'm not getting involved in this. Like, don't look at me. I'm going to be over here on my cell phone winning like internet comment wars, right? <laughs> And you're not giving either of you the opportunity, the opportunity to co-create together. In fact, I wrote something in um, Facebook the other day, which is a question, right? Which is about when are you going to forgive your man so that he has the opportunity to give you everything, right? When are you going to forgive him so that you can receive everything that he's ready to give to you? And for most of us, we are not able to do that. Most of us, we actually don't even realize that is what is being called for us and from us in relationship because we are focused on, I don't want to say the wrong things, but the things that are not expansive, the things that are um, survival based, the things that are just at the baseline of what's possible. So I'm seeing, I have definitely learned that my man can sense my anxiety, whether I acknowledge it or not. 100% <laughs> your man, just like mine. He can feel you. He can feel everything that's going on inside of you. So all this like, I'm fine and it's no big deal and you know, I don't want to talk about it. Your man can still feel what's going on and is going to be responding to that. But it even goes beyond that. I want you to get strategic, especially if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're a growth minded individual, right? That if you're not getting what you want in your relationship, if you're not having the outcomes that you desire, are you going to keep doing things that don't give you what you want that are going to keep repeating those stuck patterns over and over again? Right? I think Albert Einstein defined that as like total fucking craziness. Or are you going to learn a different way to do things that feels really good to you? That the source of it is about feeling really good to you and you being the woman that you want to be in this relationship with your man? right? So you know that you don't want to nag, you don't want to bother, you don't want to manage. So, okay, so what do you want to be and how do you show up in relationship and in life in integrity with this desire that you have for yourself? And from that place, do my favorite thing in the world to teach women, which is inspire your man, become a muse for him, turn on this energy inside of you that not only lights you the fuck up, but that is irresistible to him and that he's just like, 
how do I get more of that? How, what, do, what can I do with her to feel that more, to be connected more to that energy, to light her up in that way? How can I bring her that kind of satisfaction? And it only happens when you stop trying to manipulate him, when you stop trying to control him. And for most of you, you don't even realize that you're doing that to your man, but you are. <laughs> And she can feel it and you can feel it and that's why both of you are frustrated and why neither of you are getting what you want from each other and why you're so stuck on what you think that you want from each other you think you just want chores from each other but that's just a symbol for something else that you're deeply not getting that you have the power to give each other and to create together and that is why I have my goddess wife school that's why registration is open for it right now it's an eight week hey Monica it's an eight week program that teaches you how to have a relationship with your man that feels as exciting successful sexy fulfilling and limitless as the business that you're creating as the life that you are creating for yourself right for most of us we know how to do those things we know how to grow a business we know how to be more successful we know how to climb up the corporate ladder we know how to like design our homes we know how to like create the lifestyle that we want to live we know how to take all the instagram photos that prove that we live that kind of life but then when it comes to our relationship with our partner we don't know right what to do when things are not working and so we double down on trying to control we double down on trying to instruct to dominate to organize to push forward and it's that kind of energy hey gianni oh my god i'm so excited i know i know we have one more week left doors registration is closing on friday so that we can get started i know i'm so excited to start too um and it's because we are pushing we're doing things that might work in business to get us results and might work out there in in the way society organizes life to get results but when it comes to your man the harder you push the more you force the more pressure that is there and the more it's mired in that kind of disappointment and expectation that it's not going to work that he's going to flop that um that he doesn't want to that is why you're getting those results over and over again there's a pattern that's happening even if consciously you can't see it underneath the surface there's an energetic pattern that's happening so if you are not satisfied why wouldn't you be the one to start doing something different and doing it in a way that feels really really effing good for you that is the key to all of this right we think how do i communicate different and what do i say and maybe he didn't hear me and how do i tell him how do i validate what i want and need the beautiful beautiful thing apart it about this is it's an inside job for yourself right you don't have to get him on board you don't have to force him to do anything you don't have to push him into agreement in fact especially because you know that that doesn't work you know that's what you've been trying to do this whole time and he's like does not compute or doesn't believe you or doesn't understand you or thinks that you're being emotional or crazy or or weird or anxious or whatever it is and from his perspective he's right that's his feeling about everything that's going on and think about it the more desperate you are for something the more that you want it the more and the less that you get it your energy is just like ah give it to me give it to me give it to me you have to give it to me and he's just like whoa lady just stay over there <laughs> stay over there are you crazy <laughs> i don't want to get involved in that and i'm here to teach you a different way i'm here to teach you a different way because that doesn't feel good for him and it doesn't feel good for you and when things don't feel good for people, they don't want to do them and they will not align and co-create and join forces with you. But when you make it feel good, and I'm not just saying when you make it feel good for him, when you make it feel good for the both of you, because the way that I teach is that you're a hundred, a hundred in relationship, you're two holes. You don't need to compromise or cut yourself down or be 50, 50 in order to be happy. Nobody's happy with that shit. When you can meet and co-create from a hundred hundred place where you're both getting your needs met where you're both feeling so inspired and delighted and resourced and nourished by being in this co-creational energy together 
Well, then you're limitless because he just wants to do more stuff that makes you happy. And you just want to give him more opportunities to make you happy. And it's this beautiful cycle of like, what else can I do? What else can I do? How can we build together? How can we grow together? How can we make shit happen together? How can we make more money together? How can we celebrate each other? How can we sex each other silly as much as often? Like everything that you want. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I can speak like this because I've had that shift in my relationship, in my marriage, a decade. And I've helped hundreds of women have this kind of shift also. And that's why I'm so excited that my goddess wife school is open again. It's open back to popular demand. We pre registration was completely full. It just booked up like that, which is incredible. We have one week left before we start. So we start this Friday um, and registration closes Friday night at midnight EST. So get your booties in there because I want every woman to have this experience. I want you to blow out of the water this perception, these limiting beliefs that we were taught about, hey Jill, about relationships, right? About what men are capable of and what is normalized when we look around at people in relationships where they're not actually really getting what they want and they're just like surviving next to each other and then like bickering over and over again because below the surface there's just like not that fulfillment. If you are privileged enough to be in relationship, you have to sign up for My Goddess Wife School. You have to learn this, that nobody teaches us as women about how to have successful relationships that feel really good in our lives and give us what we want and need and that put our partners, put our men in a position to, to win, to be successful, to be our heroes. Your man wants to be your hero. He wants to but we don't know, we haven't learned how to give men that opportunity because we're so busy fighting for our survival, fighting for a seat at the table, fighting to prove that we can do it all on our own. And we totally can, right? It's been happening, but we're tired. <laughs> we're all exhausted. We can, but we don't want to. And if you're lucky enough to be in relationship with somebody, why would you do that to yourself? And why would you do that to them? Why would you rob him of the opportunity to fulfill one of his greatest purposes in life, to be fulfilled in one of the deepest ways possible, which is to give you everything that you wanted or needed? The only difference is that you can have it in a way that feels good for you and that feels good for him too. And that's what you're going to be learning all about inside my goddess wife school. Um, you don't even have to tell your man if you're signing up, if that's, you know, what you want to do, but he also just doesn't have to be involved. It can truly be that change that happens from the inside out. And for all of the partners, the husbands of the women that do my programs, the women that do coaching with me, the women inside of my goddess wife school, their men all say the same thing. It's just like, when did you get that swagger, you know? And, and when did you start to feel so good to be near? Like, I forgot that feeling. Um, I forgot that feeling of what it was like when we had so much chemistry and so much polarity between us and we were just like inspired by each other and delighted by each other. That feeling goes away because we get mired down in and we get, um, uh, uh, distracted by these base survival things. Your relationship is worth more than who's doing the laundry and who's cooking dinner um, and who's making sure the kids go to school and get to bed on time. Your relationship is is worth infinite, infinite potential what you can do with your partner. But most of us don't know how to tap into that. Sarah's saying, one, I like the 100-100 versus previous idea of 50-50. That flux to other ratios as the relations of life situations evolve. Never thought about 100-100. Yeah, absolutely. Most of us don't think about that. Most of us learn that we have to compromise in a relationship. Most of us learn that we have to give up a lot of things in order to have relationship, in order to have what we what we want. We're going to have to give up some things, that life is about balance, that we can't have it all, right? Those are more of those limiting beliefs that we've learned, that we've seen normalized in other relationships, especially the relationships of women in the generation previous to ours who couldn't have their relationships like this, who were still busy fighting the fight that they needed to so that we could be in this place to redefine relationship and, and exist with our male partners in a way that means that we don't have to be in a power struggle with them. We don't have to fight against them. And that's what I want to teach you because I spent my whole life 
learning that I needed to fight, that I needed to push, that I needed to hustle, that I needed to do better, that I needed to lean in. And I know what that feels like. I know how exhausting that is and how confusing it is to have that battle energy and then bring it into your relationship with your partner, with the person that is here on this planet deciding, excited, wanting to see you thrive, wanting to see you win, and here you are fighting against each other so that one or the other can be happy in any given moment. And it doesn't have to be like that. Your relationship has infinite potential to be a spiritual container for growth, for healing, and for really unity for men and women. There's all this politic happening out in the world. I challenge you to bring it home into your relationship to live the way that you would like to see masculine feminine relationships exist in society. And it's not just about forcing everyone to be equal. It's not about pushing everyone to be a certain way. It's about finding what works best for you and your partner that brings out the strength and brings out the confidence and brings out the joy and the fulfillment in each of you and learning how to align according to your gifts, not what society says, not what other people say is right or wrong, but what feels the best for us in developing the relationship dynamic that makes us both shine. Gianni's saying, so true, our society hasn't figured out a new normal. Absolutely, absolutely, it is up to us, lucky us, to create whatever our normal is and to realize how we're trying to force ourselves to live according to what we see in other relationships, even when it doesn't feel good for us. Like, we model our relationships based on other examples, but are those relationships that we actually want to be in? Are those the kinds of partnerships that we actually want to have for ourselves? We have to ask ourselves those questions because life is short. <laughs> and if you're my woman, right, if you're that kind of forward energy, type A, know what, what she wants, and I'm saying that with the best admiration for you, it's that kind of forward moving energy. Hey, ladies of business, Rockaway Beach, I love you guys. Oh, Sarah, I see your, um, your comment here. I'm curious about differentiating between establishing our independence and focus on the me versus being able to also give to him and being more aware of what he needs because he doesn't always say, this is the fucking genius part of this call. Sarah, I'm so excited that you asked that question. The genius part of this is the more you focus on you, the more centered you become, the more grounded, the more you learn how to hold space for the totality of you, the more you are able to be present with your partner, the more you're able to feel him, and it doesn't always have to be verbal, and the more that he's able to feel you too. Hey Shane, good. oh my God, look at everybody jumping on tonight. I love all the energy tonight. That's the fucking coolest part of all of this. That's the most illogical part of all of this, is when you center and ground down into your desire and into what feels good for you, this changes your dynamic in crazy, totally illogical ways and allows you not only to feel your partner in order to give him what he needs, but it gives him the space to show up and communicate with you in a different way, connect with you in a different way, give himself what he needs also, and be open and available to receiving from you everything that you want to give. Not that you're obligated, not that you have to, not that you're supposed to. And it changes everything. Tammy is saying, I realized that my mom sacrificed being a woman for being a mother and I want to be both. Tammy, are you doing Goddess Wife School? I see your comments coming up. I want to know if you're going to be in this, um, this cohort, this round of Goddess Wife School, because 100%, look, I am a multiple business owner, right? I have my own practice. Then I have a, um, a business I co-founded with my husband. Me and my husband are business partners. Plus we have some real estate properties as well. We're also co-parents to a toddler, to a two-year-old. So we're business partners. I'm my own businesswoman. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I'm a co-founder. You know, me and my husband are so inextricably linked in our lives and in our relationship. And this is what I wish that I knew from the beginning. All of these teachings, all of this philosophy, and not just the idea of it, but how to put that into practice in my life. I wish that I knew that. Um, Black Commerce, can I put this on IGTV? Yeah, I'll put this on my IGTV when I'm done, but DM me if you wanna talk more about this. I'm happy to talk more. Maybe we'll do an interview together. 
all of this stuff I wish that I knew from the beginning. I would have saved myself so much frustration, so much heart heartache, and frankly, so much drama and BS trying, you know, convincing myself that my man doesn't believe in me, that he doesn't want to be there for me, that he doesn't understand me, that I'm too emotional, that I'm too needy, that I'm not a, you know, not a good girl, that I'm difficult, that I'm complicated, all of these lies that I was indoctrinated with coming from my fear, coming from my trauma, and I don't want you guys to have that experience at all. I want you to have a totally, totally different experience in your relationship. So if that's what you want, okay, if you want to have a different experience with your man, if you want to feel what it's like when he deeply, deeply shows up for you in a way that you don't have to remind him, nag him, beg him, okay, and that you don't have to, you can just drop that expectation that he's just going to mess up, he's not going to do a good enough job, he doesn't want to do it anyway. It's time for you to drop that version of reality that you've been living with your partner and make room for a different version of reality, which is already here. You're just not letting it in because the truth is, again, remember this, your man wants you to be happy. And even better, he nothing would make him happier than being the source, the source of that happiness, the source of that pleasure, the source of that fulfillment. He wants to be that for you, but he doesn't always know how and you don't always know how to let him, how to set him up for success in that. So that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you. One of the amazing things I'm going to be teaching you inside of Goddess Wife School. I love all the women that are popping on that are already registered, getting excited. We have our bonus call happening on Thursday for all the women that are pre-registering right now. So get your butts in here. You'll be live on a small group coaching session video with me this Thursday. So get in here th by Thursday morning. Registration for Goddess Wife School closes on Friday at midnight. If you have any questions, slide into my DMs. Um, I promised myself that I would paste the link and then I totally did it. Um, but you can come into my DMs, come into my bio, or it's my name, michellekanon.com slash goddesswifeschool is where you'll find everything about the program and inside of my Goddess Wife Vibes Facebook group. So if you want in, if you have more questions, get your butts in here literally Literally, this is the place where women experience miracles in their relationship with their partner. And my favorite miracles are the ones, ones of you that are in relationships for like 10 years, 20 years that you're like, oh, my man will never change. That's just how it is. I just have to accept that. That's you are especially who I want inside of Goddess Life School. So I can see your your mouths drop open when things like amazing things happen, things that you've always wished that your man would do always wish that you would do and that he never did or that you never knew how to ask him or you never knew how to say it aloud or like you begged him pleaded him tried to force him and it would never really happen this will absolutely happen your man will become inspired and excited to do those things for you to give you everything i'm not just saying that like that's not just some bullshit like if you want your man to give you everything and even more than you can even possibly imagine that he wants to give you or is capable of giving you, I want you inside of Goddess Wife School. I want you to blow your own mind for what's possible with your man, what's possible with your relationship. Miracles happen every single damn day inside of my Goddess Wife School and I want you to experience those kind of miracles for yourself and your man. And I want you to be one of the women whose husbands or boyfriend sends me a thank you letter. Those are my favorite things is when I get a thank you letter from the from the man of the woman that's inside of Goddess Wife School. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go hang out with my husband. We're going to go have our intimate time together. Um, I'm not only talking about sex. One of the things that I teach inside of Goddess Wife School is on creating a powerful intimacy ritual that helps you stay connected, that helps you nourish each other, that helps you to have that kind of depth and connection and possibility in your relationship. So I'm going to go meet my man for that. Um, Y'all, if you have any questions, shoot me a DM, leave a comment, but I want to see those registrations. I want you inside of Goddess Wife School because you really deserve to have a different kind of relationship where you never doubt if your man is showing up for you, what's possible for you and also what's possible for him too right? Like we get so wrapped up in what we want and what we aren't getting and what our partner isn't giving us. But we forget a lot of times that there's like another human being, there's another man, you know, on the other side of this and what's going on with him. How can you have that hundred hundred win? How can you be your full divine sovereign 
totally fulfilled selves that meet to co-create and make everything possible for you in your lives. That is what I want to teach you. I want to show you how to have a different kind of relationship experience. So with that, I am popping off. I love this talk so much. I'll put this up on IGTV. I'll put this up on YouTube. Uh, we'll be live in the group. Let me see you inside of Goddess Wife School. Uh, register today so you can get on our bonus call by Thursday and we can get everything started by Friday. All right, guys, have an amazing, amazing night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.